Hey guys, Ghazan Frali here. In this video, I am going to show you that how you can redesign your checkout page from what you have by default from WooCommerce, like from something like this to something like this. So if you want to learn that how you can redesign this checkout page of WooCommerce by using simply the Elementor Pro and without using any third party plugin like WooLentor, then without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is to go to the dashboard of your website. Make sure you have latest version of Elementor Pro installed. If you don't have Elementor Pro, I'll drop the link in the description. You can go ahead and check out that link and then you can purchase your Elementor Pro. So make sure you have Elementor Pro installed. Already have another video about how you can redesign the cart page with Elementor Pro. Maybe you'd like to watch that video as well. So for now, what you will have to do is to go to this checkout page and click on this edit button here. And once you'll click on this edit button, this page will get loaded. Once it will get loaded, you will see a button here that will say edit with Elementor. In my case, I already have this button here. Don't worry. In your case, it will be there. So simply click on edit with Elementor. So once you will click on edit with Elementor, Elementor page builder will be loaded. I want to get rid of this template that I already created. So in your case, it will be something like this, or there will be a text editor that will have a WooCommerce short code for checkout. So what you want to do is to get rid of that short code. And in here, you will search for checkout. This is the widget that you want to use. So drag this widget here. And once you will drag this widget, this will look something like this in here. You will have the option to choose between one column layout that will look something like this or you can choose two column layout so in this video we are using the two column layout so we'll use two column layout you can also choose the sticky right column which is this one so if you'll choose sticky right column now if you see if i am scrolling down the right column is sticky so you can choose that option as well then in here you have this billing details you can change the title of this and also you can change the text for these option as well these form fields that you are seeing here you can choose all these details you can also change the titles for these shipping details as well and then you can change these additional details informations as well that comes up here and then you can change the title for this your order text here you can change its alignment to anywhere you want and then you can change the title for this coupon section here you can change its alignment anywhere you want and the same thing with the apply button here so for now the button this form is in line so it doesn't changing anything so don't worry about that and then for the payments that is this thing you can change its alignments as well and this is for the purchase button so once you will import this widget the next thing that you want to do is to go to this style tab and once you will go to this style tab you will have an option to change the background color so if i change the background color to something like this you can see that the background color color for all of these fields have been changed so i'm going to use this as the white color just the way it is then what i want is to add a border of a solid color with the width of three pixels and then have a color of like this and i want to have a kind of like a transparent border with the border radius of 40 pixels here you can also play around with padding and margin but i think the default padding and margins are fine then the next option that you have is this typography option if i change the color for this typography you will notice that the color of these titles have been changed next thing you can change the font sizes for these titles so i want to change them to 22 pixels after that you can change the color for the secondary title like this one so i want to change this color to the black color and here you can see this is in the black color and i want to change the weight to 600 pixels so it should look a bit bolder then you can change the description color to a lighter color 
and then you can change the color for messages for the check boxes i want to choose the black color here we have one of the check boxes and i want to increase the size to 16 pixels here and then for the message you can change this color to a different color as well you can notice that this color is changed here and i can change its size as well so here it is in 16 pixels and i want to have the line spacing of 1.3 pixels here so we should have a good spacing here maybe i should reduce the font size to 14 pixels and then the next thing we have this radio button for the radio button i want to change the size to 16 pixels you can see this size is changing and i can change the color to the black color here and then for the links for the normal i want to change the color to red color and for the hover i want to change the color to this orange color now for the form this whole thing is a form i can increase the row gap here reduce the row gap here and then i can change the label color which is this one if i change this color to black you can notice this is in the black color now i can change its size to 16 pixels or 14 pixels and then for the fields i can change their sizes to 14 pixels as well and then i can change their colors and i can also change their background colors as well so i'll reduce the opacity so they should look something like this and then i can add the border radius of 40 pixels here so they all should look very similar now the next thing that i want to do is for the buttons for the buttons what i want is to change the font to accent and then for the background i want to use a green color here you can see it is in the green color for the width i want zero pixels for the border for the color i want to use the white color and for the hover i want the red color with the font of white color and after that i can add a border radius of 40 pixels so they both should look same after that for the order summary i can add the item color for black color for the variation i'll use the black color i'll increase the height of font size of this to 15 pixels maybe 16 pixel i'll change this color to a bit lighter color and then for the divider i want to add a divider here between the items and i want to reduce the opacity all right for the titles and totals i want to increase add the typography color first so a darker color here and then i'll change the size to 16 pixels something like this and then we have this purchase button which is this one first of all i want to change the background color to the green color and then i want to change the font style and then i want to change the font size to 16 pixels and then for the hover i want the background color to go red with the font color of white and then you may notice when i hover over there is a very small border here so i want to get rid of that border i'll click on this solid here and then i'll change this to zero now if i hover over you can see there is no border here now i want to add the border radius of 40 pixels here so here you can see we have this checkout page designed with Elementor.
So I hope you have learned something new from this video. If you have learned something new from this video, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and make sure you hit the bell icon so that whenever I upload a new video, you will always get notified. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.